Well, I think, uh, you know, from a Facebook perspective, when we created the Places product, we also enabled integration with all of these other services. So Yelp, Foursquare, Koala, Loot are all using, or integrated in some way with Facebook Places. So I think over the next year and, and beyond, um, you'll actually see brands developing their own applications that live on the Facebook Places platform. So, you know, there may be specific services now that are focused on gaming or, you know, trading, advice, or earning badges. Um, I think that in time, brands will be able to build their own experience. Yeah, I think, just reiterating some of the things I said earlier, I, I think that location and LBS services are very exciting. There's a lot of verticals and industries that will be disrupted and uh, we'll, we'll see a ton of innovation and excitement. Um, I don't think the data exists today that demonstrates that this is going to be a game changer within the automotive vertical. Um, I do think that uh, you know it'll, it will be interesting to see how to, to play out. Uh, but ultimately, the, the most important thing uh, these folks should be measuring success by is how many people are looking at my Facebook Place page, how many people are looking at uh, my business listing on Yelp or Google Places. That's where the, the buying decisions are made and the, the brand association is made. So to, to me, those things seem uh, like they should be sort of first priority. Well, I believe, obviously, we'll make sure you get out of it what you put into it, and I think ignoring it is probably not an option. It certainly isn't for us, and I think being progressive and continuing to understand how popular it is, and the auto industry is obviously well behind us, that we have to have a very open mind and work very hard to get out in front and be leaders and innovators. I think we'll start to see greater focus on what our younger users or younger consumers are doing in terms of how are we going to be able to try to reach them. And these tools are going to provide a real nice meeting and, and able to be able to connect with them because they won't be searching, they won't be, you know, they may not be searching as much, they may not be uh, using other tools and you know, even reading blogs for instance. Maybe, maybe our way to connect to them are the, the permission-based uh, you know, to-do lists that we're able to push to them. So we can, we can hit them based on their location they'll be engaging in other methods. So before you get started, we have, um, because of, we have two panels that are using it, I think you can give us some good tips as well as um, Doug and Luther. So in terms of determining goals and KPIs, I think uh, this is something that you can probably speak to, Bill. Yeah, I think going into it, you have to set some goals and have some understandings of what you're trying to accomplish, but also realize it's not something that you just do and it just happens. I mean, you're going to have to spend time, you have to develop what your long-term process is, Wow. 